here we are. Day two of Vlogmas. Um, today I'm just going to do a get ready with me. Um, even though it's like halfway through the day, but I do like to try to do my makeup. Um, so I feel like a real human being pre baby. I was definitely the person that did full face every day, put together an outfit. It was my favorite part of the day. I told you multiple times in my introduction that I am a Leo. So I love looking glam, even for the most basic of days. Today, I think we're gonna do kind of like a classic red lip. I wanted to use the red lip that I got from opening my Makeup Revolution advent calendar yesterday for a little red lip classic holiday look. Before we get going on the glam, I figured I would open number two in my advent calendar. Um, there we go. So let's see what we have here. See if we can use it today in our glam. A liquid eyeshadow. Yes, it's in silver liquid eyeshadow. That is pretty sexy. Not the vibe today. Also, I don't really use silver, so I would like, I'll play with this one later. I will list the products down below because that is not what this is about. So it is just a get ready priming with Fenty. You will notice, like I said in the introduction video, if I can figure out how to link a video, I will do that up here for the introduction video. But as I said in that first video, we'll see that I have a lot of Fenty products on my list because Fenty is the best. I also don't know where to look I don't know where my eyes are supposed to be, so it looks like I'm looking at you. I'm supposed to look straight at the camera instead of looking into what I'm seeing, but then like I don't know what I'm seeing, what you're seeing. Yes, we love to put on a full face just so we can take it off in a few hours. I literally cannot believe that when I didn't have a baby, I did my full face, curled my hair every freaking day no qualms loved doing it because it was also like my me time not that i didn't have me time because obviously i didn't have a baby my whole life was me time but it was my favorite part of just being quiet getting ready for the day um i am surprisingly introverted so i love to be quiet as i talk up a storm on this screen but i really love peace and quiet i love recharging at home by myself um, so a baby that constantly needs my attention is quite the adjustment. In our last apartment, we, I had a giant walk-in closet to myself that I would just, I turned into just like my me space. <laughs> I would go read a book, hang out, light a candle, not have to deal with other human beings, especially at the end of a long day with the job that I was working um, prior. It was a lot of interacting with humans that I just did not want to be interacting with. You know what I mean? So had to go recharge. I do not have that luxury with a baby now. I miss it so much, but I wouldn't trade Luca for the world. He is totally the best. I'm obsessed with him. He's so beautiful. He has red hair. At least he has red hair for now. We'll see if it sticks or if it turns blonde. I'll be so sad if it turns blonde. This lighting really is showing off my bags. Those are the signs of motherhood, darling. Hello. So today, as I'm filming this, is my best friend Sean's birthday. And she, bless her beautiful Sagittarius heart, gave me a phone call today as her birthday gift to herself, obviously. Um, and I was just so excited to hear from her because as a Sagittarius, she loves to just disappear <laughs> off the face of the planet. And she'll get to you when she gets to you, which, you know, I try to be respectful of, but also sometimes I'm just like, get your fucking shit together. I'm so annoyed, but that is love, baby. You know, we sacrifice for those we love. And sometimes I have to sacrifice the attention that I need and feel like I deserve for what Jonathan needs and what she deserves. And sometimes Jonathan deserves and needs to fall off the face of the earth, but she didn't on her birthday. And I'm very glad that I got to speak to her. So we caught up with our lives. She has got some exciting things going on. I don't have that much going on, just YouTube. <laughs> That's my newest adventure. Um, Luca and I went to the physical therapist today and, oops, hang on. This, you only have like 40 minutes 
during Luca's nap time. You cannot afford to just be throwing shit across the room. We went to PT, physical therapy, um, which I have been doing since I think nine weeks postpartum, um, since October. Because for one pelvic floor, which by the way, we need to normalize here in the United States, in Europe, literally, at least in France, I know this for a fact. Fun fact, I listened to a lot of French parenting books when I was pregnant because I love France. I love the French. In France, it is um, normal. It is mandatory that you go see a physical therapist for your pelvic floor postpartum. We need to normalize that. So I go for my pelvic floor and I also go for my hips and my lower back and I go twice a week um, because Luca really did a number on his mama, even though it was like a really easy labor. Um, the pregnancy was pretty easy, but the third trimester was just God awful. And I'm sure I'm not the only one out there that was like, I'm in so much pain and I need somebody to correct this pain. So my hips have been so sore postpartum. Um, I thought it would go away, you know, cause it hurts so bad to sleep on your sides when you're pregnant, right? That's the absolute worst. Um, but that feeling wasn't going away and I was no longer pregnant. And I was like, something has got to get figured out here cause I can't sleep. I mean, haven't slept in like a year, right? Because I've been pregnant for nine months, 40 weeks. And then I had a newborn and I still have a newborn. And I was like, if I can't sleep even for like the quick 15 minutes that I should be getting at night, um, we have a problem here, sir and madam. My pelvic floor, I would love to announce, is doing fabulous. She is no longer peeing herself, honey. I don't mean to brag, but hello. So feeling good about that. And that was the only thing on mine and Luca's to-do list today besides doing this video, uploading my first video. You know, just we're just all YouTube over here, honey. So as I was editing and Luca was napping, I was, I turned on the new Beauty and the Beast the one with Emma Watson, I was watching it. And I just was curious, like at what point did we stop sending haggard women to terrible men's doors and like tricking them? I guess you don't really need to trick them because it would just be terrible, right? They're just terrible men. So just, they don't answer the question, right? They treat you like garbage and then you turn into a beautiful goddess and then you curse them. Like, why did we stop doing that? I don't even know if I have anything here that like fits the vibe. So I guess <laughs> we will see. I have another Makeup Revolution. Like I said, Makeup Revolution is one of my favorite drugstore brands. I couldn't think of the word for this. Here I am trying to go in with a glitter. We're not ready for you, girl. Also, all of my brushes are so dirty. Ugh, I need to clean them so bad. Um, but in the meantime, this Fenty like hard sponge to change colors, aces. And then I will clean my brushes this weekend, I promise. I swear on my life. On my first video, I was like, I'm going to try to do a video that is 10 minutes long every single day. And then my first video didn't even make it to 10 minutes long. <laughs> it's like seven minutes. So we're doing our best here. Let's see how this looks. I am not a professional makeup artist, okay? I think that's very clear. I'm not professional at all in any sense. I'm not a professional anything. I'm like a professional housewife, stay at home mom. And before that, I wasn't a professional anything. I was just a professional biz and what a great biz I was, let me tell you. Who doesn't love to like pretend that millions of people are watching you do a tutorial, like you know what the fuck you're doing every morning when you put on your makeup? Or is that just like a weird thing that I do? It's fine if it's a weird thing that I do. I am aware that I do all sorts of strange things. My favorite thing to do now is to like put on a performance for Luca every day. I now have a captive art audience that just loves my performance. And I 
he can't get enough of it. So I'm like, thank you. This is everything I've ever wanted. Is just somebody to sit there and tell me what a beautiful voice I have, which he does with his beautiful blue eyes and his giant smile. So thank you so much, Luca. You are everything your mom ever needed and wanted. We appreciate you greatly. Do I wanna do a winged liner? That's what I'm like anxious about. I've never really done this on camera. I don't really need trolls to be mean. <laughs> be like, what the fuck are you doing? Um, so here we go. If I don't like it, we cut it out, right? That's what this is all about. Concentration. It's not that bad. So not even up. I knew, I knew this was going to be terrible. But listen, we're already in it. We are in it. Say so we're in it to win it. I don't think anyone's winning here, but we are in it. We are not looking back. Okay, it's a good thing that we already did our outing for the day. I will clean this up off camera. We got her done. Also, like I said, I used to curl my hair every single day and now I just let it air dry. And so it's like so big and poofy, but this is mom life. And I, let me tell you, I was so convinced that I was not going to be a regular mom, okay? I'm a cool mom. I still am a cool mom. Let me just explain to you who I am to my core. I did not own a single pair of sweatpants until we were in a global crisis, okay? So then I got really into matching sets loungewear, which I think are still cute but also like you weren't really leaving your house, right? So it wasn't like I would ever wear any of that in public. And then I got pregnant during this crisis and I really was good at keeping up with making sure I felt cute, it looked cute every day um, because that's just like part of who I am. Bless anyone who's able to just go out into the world and not wear an outfit or their makeup. I wish this is gonna sound like such a backhanded compliment, but I truly wish that I could do that, but I don't have it in me to just go out looking however I look that day. And I thought that would carry over um, to my momhood. However, there is no time in the freaking day when you're the only person home to take care of this little human who requires so much attention and you have to pick your battles. You're like, am I, I have 45 minutes while he's napping. Am I going to actually eat something for the day? Am I going to clean something? Am I going to take a quick nap? What am I going, am I going to finally shower? That's why you go days without showering. Because by the time your partner gets home, you're exhausted. And the baby goes to bed at like eight o'clock, right? That's normal. However, then the baby has to have a dream feed at like 10. So then, so I'm exhausted by the end of the day. And so that dream feed makes me so mad. I'll tell you what, dream feeding at 10 o'clock when you're fucking tired and wanna go to bed at eight o'clock with the baby, but one of you has to stay up or one of you has to do the dream feed. And I'm the type of person that's like, I can't just go to bed for like, two hours and then be up again to do the stream feed. It's not gonna happen. Cause what's gonna happen, I'm gonna toss and I'm gonna turn until about 9.45 and then I'll finally get tired and then my alarm's gonna go off for that dream feed. And like, <sighs> so I stay up and do the dream feed. And I like, at first I was like, I love this. It's a great time for me to be able to read. I haven't been able to read in so long. But then like by nine, o'clock 9 15 i'm starting to get so tired <laughs> i'm like i cannot stay awake to feed this baby i cannot stay awake another second but like the compromise is is like my gal has to also get up at like four o'clock to feed the baby and then be out the door because he works he's an optometrist in the army so he has early early mornings right so nobody is happy. Like there is no good compromise for the two of us right now. I want to be sleeping. He needs to be sleeping. And then I also don't want to get up at 4 a.m. Because I want, because if I'm up at 4 a.m. Then I'm up for the day. And then I'm like, and he's already up at that time anyways, because he has to be out the door. So 
there's no winning. There's no good compromise right now. I know it's almost over. <laughs> like the first three to four months is like the absolute worst. And then they start sleeping a lot more through the night and I feel like I'm dying and nothing that I want to get done is getting done. And that drives me insane, but it's almost over. And like, I like to remind myself that one, I'm just so lucky that I get to be home with Luca because I would hate to miss any of those first moments um, because he was at daycare. And that's not shade to anybody who has to send their kid to daycare. It's just for me, I would, I, I love that I'm here with him. I love, I get all the, all this time with him. I love that I'm here for all of his firsts. I know in like five years when he's in school, I will be so happy that I got to be home. I will miss these days so much. I already know all of those things. That doesn't make this time any less hard though. That's all I have to say. And I'm gonna do my red lip, but I'm going to do it off camera because talking and doing this at the same time is gonna be a nightmare. What do we think with the dark hair and the red lip? Who is she? My goodness, postpartum who, honey? Postpartum me, for sure. But anyway, I think I like this red. I don't think I have any bright reds like this. I've got more of like a, like a deeper red situation going on. I think it's really pretty. I think it's cute. Um, anyways, this concludes today's video. It was just a little get ready with me holiday look, you know? Thank you for tuning in. I'm so excited that you're here. If you came back, um, if it's your first time, go check out the intro video. Um, and we're just going to hopefully keep this truck and keep it moving. And we'll get all the way through December, one video at a time. And I'll see you tomorrow in the next video.